Hi, I'm Laura from YoungWritersWorkshops.com, and I'm going to talk about back to school activities. Uh, the first day back to school can be pretty um, overwhelming for a teacher. It's hard to prepare when you don't, you haven't met your children yet, and um, there's a lot to cover. So I'm going to talk about some activities that you can use, or some structures you can use to be prepared. Um, and my first piece of advice is is just to be to spend a lot of time planning and pretty much just script it all out. Go minute by minute um, or block by block of time with what you're going to do with your day. Um, try and think about how you want it to flow, uh, keeping in mind that the kids are going to be excited to see each other. Um, so be sure to build some kind of open free time in there for them to get reacquainted and just to get kind of settled in their new surroundings. But think about um, how how you're going to go over the procedures. You're going to want to talk with them about what's expected of them in terms of getting a drink or going to the restroom, asking permission for things. So it's always good to have those written out ahead of time and spend uh, one of your blocks of time should be going over those um, procedures with your class. The soonest, you know, the soonest possible time to um, go over what's expected provides them with the chance to um, get settled and know what's expected of them and, and to f integrate that into their um, behavior. Um, another great way to spend some time on the first day of school is uh, a getting to know you activity and one that's really fun is a quiz where um, you ask kids questions, true or false questions about you and they can try and guess. Um, it's amazing how fascinated kids are with teachers and little details about the teachers can be a lot of fun. So make up a quiz about yourself and make up some silly ones that aren't true and some things that are true and then have the kids try and you know answer on a piece of paper true or false then you can go through it and grade the test and they can find out which ones they got right. This is also a good way to introduce that um, method of working as a group to grade something or giving feedback. Um, another great activity uh, one last great activity is a, a reading activity and a lot of teachers, especially of younger grades, like to read the book The Kissing Hand. Um, it's a great book that helps them to feel more comfortable in their surroundings and um, it, it introduces the idea of being away from home and feeling okay about that. So those are some ideas about uh, back to school activities.